Hi, did you ever stop to wonder about the nature and the real essence of benefits? Let's talk about that. Hi, I'm Paula Renova, founder of Renova Enterprises and creator of the Cardinal Method of Life Connection. And today we're going to talk about benefits. What are benefits? What's beneficial? What's the nature of this, right? Because a lot of people don't understand what benefits are. They think that benefiting someone is okay when it's for the detriment or for the sacrifice of someone else. And that is just so not true. So benefits, first of all, happen and manifest when everybody benefits, when it's for the good and the best for all people involved in the situation. So what are not benefits? What are not beneficial situations? When you sacrifice yourself to please someone, when you do something you hate just so the other person won't feel hurt, that is so not aligned with the truth. And I'll tell you, it isn't benefiting you, obviously, but it's not benefiting the other person either because you are enabling that person to either be clueless and completely unaware of healthy boundaries if they're asking too much of you or of other people and you witness that kind of emotional abuse and don't really say anything and you're just, you know, complacent with it. We have no idea how energy behaves when this kind of thing happens. So we think that being diplomatic is the most beneficial thing to do, but it is the opposite of a benefit. It is a distortion. It is an imbalance of energy, okay? Because we do need to expand in life and really do things that will challenge our comfort zones. But doing something that we hate to please someone else is not one of those things. It's not what gets you out of comfort zone. On the contrary, maybe your comfort zone is pleasing and then you're not defying your comfort zone. You're reaffirming it, right? So just pay close attention to this. Start putting your focus in situations or draining people people who will only do what they want. We can call, can call them takers, if you will. And this is not to judge other people. But the reason there are takers is that there are excessive givers. The reason there are takers is that we are unaware of the real nature and essence of benefits. Remember, a benefit is when everybody benefits. It's for the good of everyone. And no one gets hurt in the process. If someone is being wounded, or is doing something they hate, or is doing something that is not aligned with their truth, then it isn't a benefit. It's something else. It is a pleasing situation. It's an imbalanced situation. It's a diplomatic situation. It's a comfort zone situation. Call it what you will. Okay? So don't hurt yourself in the process. Do not do something you hate doing just to please someone else. There's a video about the Ahimsa principle in yoga that I recorded way back years ago that you can look at in our YouTube channel too. It's called the Ahimsa Principle, I think. But I'll put the links here for you to, to check it out. And another, another consequence of this distorted idea of benefiting or sacrificing self for others, which is total martyrdom, right? And martyrdom in the end is such an ego trip. I have to break it to you. People who take pride in being martyrs have a sophisticated way of feeding their ego. It's the image of a martyr the ego feeds on, the distorted ego, because the ego is not necessarily unhealthy. We're not here to destroy our egos. They're part of the human experience and they're part of the adult self. But when the ego is unhealthy and distorted, it can have all kinds of sophisticated mechanisms and instruments to fool us into thinking we are doing this for the good of all involved, but we're really being martyrs or pleasing other people, not standing up for ourselves and not honoring our truth. So benefits are very aligned with the truth of life. And sometimes the truth of life is in a tug of war with love. Because love is amazing, it's beautiful, it's wonderful, we need it. We cannot ever discard love, 
But if you are 100% love and you don't balance that love, it's not taking from love. It's just bringing a new energy that balances and coexists with it, which is wisdom, which is the truth, which is the higher mind, not just the beautiful spiritual heart, but also the higher mind then you're in trouble. Because if you just love others and not love yourself enough, if you don't balance love with wisdom, your life is not going to be that great. Okay? So the nature of benefits is that everybody benefits from the situation and you don't want to hurt yourself in the process. You don't want to enable takers or clueless people into keeping themselves in that track. You want to wake them up a little bit and set healthy boundaries, which is so powerful for a life connection and a meaningful purposeful life right so don't disrespect your truth benefits are aligned with the truth not just with love and use healthy boundaries and discernment in order to create real true benefit for everybody involved involved so benefits are about growth and expansion as long as everybody benefits and not just one person at the cost of someone else's well-being. All right? So thank you. This is what I wanted to share with you today. Thank you all for being here. I'm very, very happy and honored with your presences in our YouTube channel, in our blog, in our Facebook community, in our Instagram and all social media. So subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification button in the YouTube channel for you to know exactly when we post new content for you. Follow us on social media. Sign up for our newsletter in our blog. And I will see you soon. Thank you so much. And have a beautiful, beautiful path and life connection. Choice of life. I will see you soon.